From the beginning of 2020 to the end of 2021, Elon Musk's fortune increased from around $25 billion to an enormous $300 billion. This was undoubtedly one of the quickest rises of personal wealth in human history. But this rapid growth in recent years was only the culmination of a long road. The road during which Musk built four big companies and almost went bankrupt. Today, we're going to overview his entire journey right from $0 to almost $300 billion. Elon Musk began his quest for wealth at the age of 12 years, when he sold his first invention. It was a video game that he had created from scratch. After selling it to a PC journal, he made $500, but this was only the beginning of the path to an enormous fortune. In 1995, Elon Musk co-founded Zip2 with his brother Kimball Musk as the internet started to take shape. Zip2 was an online city guide software company that provided and licensed its software to newspapers. Elon, Kimball and Greg Curry launched the company on the 6th of November 1995 in Palo Alto, California as Global Link Information Network with funding from a small group of angel investors and $6,000 from Curry. Global Link began by giving local companies an online presence by connecting their services to searches and offering instructions. The original system was created by Elon Musk using a free Navtech database and a Palo Alto commercial database. After receiving $3 million in funding from Moore Davidal Ventures in 1996, the company changed its name to Zip2. Davidal Ventures shifted Zip2's business model from localized direct-to-business sales to selling national back-end software packages to newspapers for use in creating their directories. Rich Sorkin was named CEO and Elon Musk was named Chief Technology Officer. According to the editor and publisher, Zip2's collaboration with newspapers made it a significant component of the US newspaper industry's response to the online city guide industry. By 1998, the company had formed partnerships with approximately 160 newspapers to create city guides on a local or national scale. 20 of those newspapers, according to Elon Musk, led to full-fledged city guides. The New York Times reported that Zip2 provided newspapers with an online directory, calendar, and email in addition to their core offering. In April 1998, Zip2 attempted to merge with CitySearch, its primary competitor. Musk initially favored the merger, but eventually persuaded the board of directors to reject it. According to the New York Times, the two firms cited incompatibilities in cultures and technology as the cause for the merger's failure. After a failed merger attempt, another opportunity came up. Compaq Computer Corporation was interested in buying a company to improve its Alta Vista web search engine. Finally, Compaq paid $305 million for Zip2 in February 1999. The founders, Elon and Kimball Musk, made a total of $22 million and $15 million respectively. Despite the rapid rise in wealth, Elon Musk wasn't going to stop at this point. In the same year, he decided to put his money to good use and co-founded online bank X.com, whose goal was to revolutionize the way we transfer money. Unfortunately for X.com, Elon Musk was not the only one to come up with this idea. In 1998, Luke Nosek, Max Levchin, and Peter Thiel founded Confinity Inc. Their product, called PayPal, was initially used to send money using cell phones, Palm Pilots, and Pagers, but soon the company introduced a website-based system. As you can guess, PayPal and X.com became the main contenders in the field of online payments. The rivalry between companies quickly started to become very expensive. Confinity gave people $10 for registering and $10 for referring others, while X.com gave $20 for signing up and $10 for referrals. Due to this fact, both PayPal and X.com agreed to join forces. Finally, Confinity merged with X.com to establish PayPal. Elon Musk was replaced as CEO of X.com by Peter Thiel in the following month and the company was renamed PayPal in 2001 and went public in 2002. PayPal's initial public offering was priced at $13 per share and raised over $61 million. For all this time, PayPal was competing with eBay's payment system called Billpoint, and finally, eBay decided to buy their competitor. On October 3, 2002, just a few months after PayPal's IPO, 
eBay purchased the company for $1.5 billion. Even though Elon Musk was removed from the company, he still remained as the main shareholder. Thanks to that, after the sale of the company, Musk received $180 million. Just like after the sale of Zip2, Elon did not intend to keep the money for too long and decided to invest them in space exploration. Initially, he started a project known as Mars Oasis, whose goal was to see if a modest greenhouse on Mars could support the growing of food crops. The main goal of this effort was to make space exploration a popular topic among the general public. After it turned out that the costs of the project were much bigger than Musk primarily assumed, he started thinking of ways to decrease the cost of launching cargo into space. As a result of his considerations, in 2002, SpaceX was founded, a company whose goal was to reduce the costs of space exploration. Initially, the company was a disaster. Each new test flight of their rocket, Falcon 1, ended in a rocket explosion. But in the end, the founder's determination paid off. SpaceX has managed to improve the rocket and accomplish the first successful rocket flight. Right after that, the company signed a contract with NASA for cargo resupply to the International Space Station. Thanks to the inflow of money from NASA, SpaceX was able to focus on the development of their reusable launch vehicle Falcon 9 and the reusable cargo spacecraft Dragon. Meanwhile, in 2003, Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening started their automobile manufacturer company called Tesla. The startup was looking for Series A capital the following year. At that moment, Elon Musk chose to take up the task and invest in Tesla and join the company's board of directors as chairman. Elon Musk has taken a considerably more active role in the company since his initial funding. He oversaw the creation of the Roadster, although he wasn't involved in many day-to-day -day operations. When Musk realized that the company is in a terrible financial situation, he decided to use his shares in the company to replace Eberhard as Tesla's CEO. As the new CEO, Elon Musk finished the production of the Roadster and had to somehow improve the company's financial situation. At this point, SpaceX also had financial troubles, and Musk was forced to invest all the money he had left in financial aid for both companies. The $180 million he received after the sale of PayPal fell to almost zero. In 2008, the situation was so bad that Tesla was only three days away from bankruptcy. At the last moment, Musk managed to raise $40 million in investment, which saved the company from bankruptcy. Thanks to the investment, Tesla was able to develop the Model S and at least for a while stabilize its financial situation. Next, Tesla has developed other electric vehicles like Model X, Model Y, and Model 3. To accommodate manufacturing, Gigafactories were quickly built both inside and outside the United States. Since the Tesla initial public offering, the company's share price is constantly growing. Due to the rapid increase in the demand for electric vehicles, the value of the company has reached $1 trillion. Thanks to the fact that Elon Musk is an owner of around 20% shares in Tesla, his fortune rises as quickly as Tesla's stock price, reaching nearly $300 billion. This was Elon Musk's way to becoming the richest man in the world. If you want to see more stories of companies and entrepreneurs, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.